Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we will be talking about privileged identities. So, what is what are privileged identities? So, privileged identities are having much more higher capabilities or permissions than general normal users. So, there are set of predefined roles and administrators within Microsoft Azure. So if you go in there, you would see starting from application administrator and then authentication administrator, DevOps administrator, and then uh, compliance administrator, and even global administrator are uh, privileged identities. So you would see set of identities pre-created. So those are known as privileged identities. Now, as security professionals, we educate users to keep minimum number of privileged identities. The reason is it can be vulnerable for an organization to have, you know, more people as a privileged identities. The reason is for some reason attacker could compromise these identities. It can be more critical than general user because if someone compromise general users or typical one of users account, the uh, effect or impact comparatively low. But if somebody compromise, for an example, global administrator account, they can do pretty much anything. They can completely destroy your tenant. So in that sense, we always educate companies to keep minimum number of privileged identities, not only global administrators, but also other administrators as well. So typically, companies should have one or few global administrators, and then we can have or sign uh, different users or you different IT people to look after specific areas for an example exchange online SharePoint online or Microsoft teams teams so then they can specify specifically work with their scope but there are certain instances where your limited number of global administrators can go away of the company probably they are not contactable during their holidays so what is the uh, answer or the solution to overcome this issue. The issue is privileged identity management. If it is Microsoft Azure, we have privileged identity management. If you go into all services in Microsoft Azure console here, so if you click on there and click on all services and the identity, you should see Microsoft Azure AD privileged identity management. I'm going to click on that. And also remember, this is part of Microsoft Azure, uh, Act Azure Active Directory, Premium Plan 2. So you need to have Premium Plan 2 subscription of Microsoft Azure AD in order to get or access privilege identity management. But there are certain other subscriptions like Microsoft 365 E5 offer uh, privilege identity management because as a part of uh, Microsoft 365 E5 license, you get Azure AD Plan 2. All right, so let's go there. And if you go in uh, under uh, Privilege Identity Management, click on Azure AD Roles, and you should see a set of roles within. Uh, if you go into Roles, you should see set of Privilege Identity that that's, that we were looking at. Right, so those are the identities. For an example, let's say there is a global administrator. He's planning to go away for his holiday. So let me go into global administrator role here i'm clicking on that and then i can assign a person to be permanently work as a global administrator or i can specify a date range to be able to perform global administrator task as of now i have an enable one guy as a permanent global administrator i'm going to create another one add assignments and then I'm going to select the members. Now, I have already selected global administrator. I'm going to select members and then it will take me to this window to select members. I'm going to select another one as a global administrator. Let's say in this case, Abby is going to be uh, the global administrator. I've selected Abby and click select. All right so now. I should see her here right here so click on next and then I can make her as an eligible administrator or I can act you straight away so let's say if I know her uh, global administrator is away for a week I can specify activate 
and also I can configure permanently assigned or I can specify a duration like let's say starting from 16th of June to 13th of uh, let's say uh, let's say he's going out for a week uh, then I'm gonna select uh, let's say until uh, the Friday so I configured him to be active from uh, 16th of you know tomorrow 7 30 a.m. to uh, 18th or uh, you know only a week and up to 5 34 and then I need to provide a uh, business justification let's say a uh, global admin is away for a week so then I can assign him a permanently or I can straight away upgrade him to a global administrator only for this uh, time period what is I can make him as an eligible administrator or permanently eligible so we sort of keeping him as a backup global administrator and whenever global administrator is away he can log into his uh, uh, admin portal and then he can request and then a global administrator has to uh, approve that in order him to become a global administrator the next good thing is if you go into i'm just uh, going to cancel this if i go in there you should see uh, audit history so then I would see each and every uh, action that he took will be audited and then you can see what's going on what has happened and also there is another one called review access or access reviews so it would show you during your away or during global administrator away what are the actions taken by the eligible administrator once he upgraded himself as, as a global administrator and what are the actual uh, things that he has performed right so you can have that so you would see other stuff like if i have request certain uh, um, you know eligibility so it, uh, you can see here and then approved request so if, if my uh, requests are approved and if i become a global administrator you would see that here and there are some other options as well so mainly this is a way that you can keep uh, minimum number of privileged identities and as and when required you can upgrade them as a global administrators or privileged identities to perform their duties and then whenever duties are performed they can degrade them to a uh, normal users or administrators so i hope this is informative and uh, i hope you understand the concept and thanks for viewing and hope to see you with next video